I really just want to put on my hoodie, but I realized I've worn that in like half my videos. So I decided I should probably wear real clothes. Hi everybody, my name is Rosalie, and welcome back to my channel, Back to Chubby. This is not my usual background, again, this time because I've got um, boxes of like Christmas decorations and stuff all around my dining room, so I just didn't want to move them, but I needed to record this video and get it done, or else it just wasn't going to happen this week, so. In this week's Do It With Me Weight Loss, I want to talk to you about something that I get asked about quite often, and that is sodium because I talk about it in almost every video. <laughs> Before I get started, I just wanna preface this with saying that I'm going to put links to a whole bunch of information in the description box down below, so if you wanna research sodium more yourself, you can, um, as well as all the sources to where I got this information. It's not something I'm just coming up with. You can live on as little as 125 milligrams of sodium per day, but you're gonna feel bad. You're gonna feel like crap, you won't be able to think clearly, you might feel some heart arrhythmia, things like that. It's recommended that you get at least 500 milligrams of sodium per day. For most people, that's not an issue. So then it's recommended that you try and keep it down to around 1500 milligrams a day, but the absolute maximum that's recommended is 2,300 milligrams per day. And that's where I try and stay under, is 2,300 max. The average American on the standard American diet gets 3,400 milligrams of sodium per day. So basically an extra 1,100 milligrams over what's supposed to be the absolute limit of what you have in a day. It doesn't come from just natural Food, really if you're eating just natural things or if you're doing paleo or if you're vegan you're probably not gonna have an issue 500 is probably about where you're gonna hit like this week when I was making the meal plan up until I added some canned tomatoes I was around five around 530 and then I added canned tomatoes and now I'm at like a thousand that's fine I'm fine with a thousand it's the processed things that add more sodium to your diet and there is sodium in most things you eat. Certain vegetables have more than others, like celery has quite a bit of sodium compared to other vegetables. Some meats will have more sodium. Okay, so you need sodium. But too much sodium is bad. So basically your body needs sodium, it uses it to function, and it holds on to it when it gets it until it gets too much. And then whatever is excess you pee out. That's why water is helpful, right? Your kidneys flush out the extra sodium if you don't need it. If though, for whatever reason, your kidneys can't flush it out or you're sensitive to sodium, your body will hold on to it. And then that means that it'll start holding on to more liquid as well, which isn't like bloating isn't the only issue. But before I go on, I want to like a dress, I seem to be one of the people who's sensitive to sodium. If I have too much, I can feel it. I can see it in my skin and just on my body. My ankles and my feet and my wrists especially will swell and I obviously retain water. Like a couple weekends ago, over Thanksgiving weekend, this is what my feet looked like when I had had too much sodium after just one day of too much sodium. And this is what my feet looked like Friday when I weighed in. And that was only after a few days of trying to flush the sodium out. Like, I can see a big difference. And one way you can tell if you're retaining water, if you like press down on your skin and you have this white spot and it takes a while to go away, you're probably retaining water. Also, especially like on the fronts of your calves, if you press in with your thumb and there's a dent and the dent doesn't go away, you're probably retaining water. Just the extra weight isn't really the problem. When you're retaining extra water, your heart has to work harder to move the blood and the fluids around your body. Every system in your body has to work harder. So. If you are already morbidly obese, your heart is already working harder. If you 
have certain risk factors, like if you're 51 or over, or if you've already got high blood pressure, or if you're of certain descents, like people of Middle Eastern or African descent tend to be prone to higher blood pressure, then that extra retention of fluid is really hard on your body and your heart. So, I try and keep it down. I'm also going to link to at least one place that tries to argue against what I'm saying. Um, I really couldn't find many others, um, but she cites a study where they found that a low sodium diet actually had adverse health effects versus a high sodium diet. But she obviously just read the abstract and then didn't actually go further into that study because what they cited as a low sodium diet was below that 500 milligram level that you're supposed to have. So they meant like a too low of sodium diet has adverse health effects, which of course it's going to. The point is, I do freak out about sodium. And when I'm at home and stuff, I'm usually doing fine. It's like on the weekends when I have my cheat day that I tend to not do very well. Also, this past weekend, I norm normally I only have one cheat day. And normally I do pretty okay. I don't feel like I've sabotaged myself, but I do feel like I've let myself have a little bit of a break. But this past weekend, I did not make good choices and we basically had two whole cheat days where my sodium was through the roof, my fat, and I don't mean good fat, I mean bad fat, bad cholesterol, sodium, and carbs were all way too high. Normally on cheat days, we go out to eat maybe, but it's like local restaurants where they actually use food to make their stuff. Um, and by food, I mean like real ingredients, not just like processed stuff from a can. But this past weekend, we got fast food for the first time in months. And it wasn't even good. It really wasn't worth it. And then after I had it, I had a really hard time not binging. Like I really wanted to eat more and more and more. Not of the fast food, just like of anything. And so I'm worried that's going to be reflected on the scale this week, but it's one of those things where I made my bed and I have to lie in it. <sighs> I'm done complaining now. Okay. On to the meal prep. This week, as I mentioned, uh, it's only at around 1,000 milligrams of sodium, since that's what we're talking about. It's at around 1,400 calories, which I know is low. I've talked about it in another video. This is the bottom of my cycle, and now I'm gonna start going back up again in calories, closer up to 2,000 before we go down again. I'll also link to that video somewhere around here um, to where I talk about calorie cycling and why I'm so low this week. Last time when I was at sort of the apex of the cycle, I was looking forward to going back down and this week I'm looking forward to going back up. I don't know. Let's go to the meal prep before I just ramble some more. For breakfast I'm having overnight oat skin primarily because I had some almond milk left over which I knew I wasn't going to use for anything else. So I'm going to make them a little bit different this week by mixing a cup of almond milk, two thirds cup of oats, along with some honey. I'm just gonna use a tablespoon here, but you could also use stevia or something else. And then some diced up peaches, and some cinnamon. Then I'll just stir this all together and leave it in the fridge overnight. I'm gonna heat it up in the morning, but you could also just eat it cold. For lunch I'm going to put some diced up garlic and onions with some Italian seasoning in the bottom of a crock pot, followed by some rinsed and drained chickpeas and canned diced tomatoes in tomato sauce, and then some low sodium chicken broth. I'm going to put a link to the recipe I followed in the description box down below, but the only things I really changed 
were that I doubled the amount of tomatoes and halved the amount of chicken broth. Then I'm going to add some more Italian seasoning, stir it all up, and then cook it in the crock pot for three to four hours on high or six to eight hours on low. When I'm ready to heat it up again, I'll put a handful or basically a cup of spinach in, sort of fold it in gently, pop the lid on with a vent in the side, and then that will wilt the spinach just enough. For dinner, I'm gonna put some frozen green beans and chopped up onions in a pan, and then some pork shoulder on top of them. And then after I season it, I'm going to put it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 45 to 50 minutes. We also are going to have baked potatoes with this, um, with maybe butter or margarine, I don't know. I didn't film snacks because you've seen it before, but it's carrots, hummus, and an egg. I'll also admit that this is not as filling as it usually is, but breakfast and lunch kept me pretty full. Okay, so that was it. I think this was actually one of the fastest meal preps I've done. I don't know why, but I am super okay with it, and I really like throwing things in a crock pot or just throwing everything in one pan. That is just the way to do it. <laughs> anyway, I hope that answered some of your questions about why I freak out about sodium a little bit. I guess I should also point out before I sign off for today that I actually don't have high blood pressure. Um, my heart is fine. And the reason I know my heart is fine <laughs> is because I mentioned several times I have anxiety and I will get really bad anxiety attacks to where my heart feels like it's doing something wrong and um, so I've had my heart tested I think three different times and each time it turned out it was an anxiety attack <laughs> which was kind of embarrassing and really expensive so it also doesn't help though when you have anxiety because you'll have anxiety and then your heart feels like it's doing something wrong and you're like oh my god maybe I'm having a heart attack and you're like no calm down it's just anxiety and then you're like but what if I'm just thinking it's just anxiety and this time it really is a heart attack and I don't do anything about it because I think it's just anxiety and then it makes it worse <sighs> anyway so yeah I don't actually have high blood pressure my heart is fine, but because I'm so big, I'm always worried that there's the chance my heart's just going to be fine until it's not anymore. My heart already basically has to do the work of two hearts because I'm basically two people. And I would just prefer to not put any more strain on it than is necessary. And I would prefer to not hold on to water weight, if I can help it. <laughs> I hope that answered some of your questions about sodium. If you have any other questions, I'd be happy to try and answer them or do some research and find out the answer if I don't know. Um, several people have asked me to talk a little bit more about macros, so let me know down in the comments if that's something you're interested in. I'd be happy to talk about it. Um, some people really aren't familiar with them or what I'm, I'm talking about. So I'd be happy to talk about it if you want me to. Sorry this video is going up late. That's pretty much just <laughs> my life. And I will have another weigh-in video on Friday, but I will also have an extra video go up this Saturday, which is part of the Biggest Get Healthy YouTube collab, which I talked about in my last video, and I will link to down below. Um, there's a playlist where all the videos are in one place for you. You can just add the playlist to your favorites and you'll get notified. Well, I don't know if you'll get notified, but when you check the playlist, you can see them all in one place. I will also put the link somewhere around here. And then on Saturday, you can see my part of the collab. So I hope you guys will check it out. Um, today, hopefully if this goes up on Wednesday, uh, the video that's going up today 
is on Fat Over 40's channel. So if you wanna head over there and check it out, that would be great. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying it so far because it was fun to make. Anyway, I will see you on Friday when I weigh in. Thank you guys. Bye.